Hello, thank you for joining us today as we explore how to plug in, charge, and turn on and off an HP and a Dell Chromebook. A little bit of background on this subject, uh, the School District of Philadelphia since uh, March of this year has worked to distribute these laptops to our students, or these Chromebooks, I'm sorry, to our students. The two types that we distributed are the HP, I'm going to turn this around so that you can see the logo. Okay, the HP Chromebook, you know it's an HP because it says it here, and you also know it's a Chromebook because of the indicator up here. The other type of Chromebook that was distributed is a Dell. Again, you'll know which kind you have by checking the logo on the top, and you'll know it's a Chromebook because of the Chrome logo that's also in the corner. Now, some of the Dells have this information that's here. Some of them don't. Either way, they are the, the property, really, of the School District of Philadelphia. Okay, so we're going to get started by looking at our HP and how to get that plugged in and ready to go for the student to use for learning. So when you pick up your Chromebook, you're going to get either two or three pieces, depending. You'll get your Chromebook itself and you'll get the charging cables. Now the charging cable may come as two separate pieces, which is what I'm showing you now, okay? And it may come all together as one piece. So that's why I'm saying it could be three pieces, one, two, three, or it could be two pieces if the cable's already put together. For the purposes of our video, I wanna show you how to put everything together um, so, that you, so that you know, just in case. All right, so our cables, the first thing I want you to notice for, with our cables is this is the one that's going to go into the wall. You want to make sure that you plug it into an outlet that has three holes because this one has three pieces that need to be plugged in. Okay, this piece is going to go into the rest of our cable. So for, I'm going to start by plugging in to my wall. Okay, and then looking at our other piece of cable, we have this piece right here. This is called a charging brick. And notice how this end of the charging brick has an opening that looks very much like this end of our cable. So we're gonna fit those two pieces together. Okay. And then the other end is what we're gonna use to plug into the Chromebook. And notice what this looks like, because this will look different depending on the type of Chromebook that you have. Okay, so looking at our Chromebook, I'm going to, we need to find the place where we're gonna plug that in. Now that's usually on the side of a device. And what we're looking for is an opening that has an icon that looks just like this. Okay, notice how that looks like the plug that goes into a wall. All right, so that is the picture we wanna find. And that tells us that's where we're going to plug in our charger. So I'll plug it in, and once I plug it in, I have this nice orange light that turns on that tells me that it's charging and it's good to go. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our Chromebook and we're going to look at how to turn it on and off. Okay, so I'll start by opening our Chromebook. Okay, so here is our Chromebook, and we're going to press our power button that's right here. Okay, so one thing that I want you to notice as we do this is that the power button is up here in the top right-hand corner. The other thing I want you to see with our power button is that the symbol always looks the same. It's going to be a circle with a line through it. Okay, so once the Chromebook turns on, you'll know that it's on because the screen will light up. And you'll be able to see that it's turning on. Okay, and we get that nice noise that happens as well. All right, so that is our Chromebook. When you're done using it for the day, you're gonna wanna press your power button to turn it off again. Press and hold. And now the Chromebook is turned off. Close the screen and set the Chromebook aside. Now, the closing the screen will also turn off the Chromebook sort of a little bit. 
it kind of goes to sleep. So if you just close the screen, your battery is still gonna be, is gonna run down. So the best answer is to make sure you just turn it off. Okay, so now we're gonna look at our Dell Chromebook. And here are the charging pieces for our Dell. Okay, you'll notice that this part of the cable looks exactly the same as the one for the HP. This one looks a little bit different. You'll see on the charging brick itself, it says Dell. So you'll know that it's with the right piece. Okay, so we're gonna follow our same process. I'm gonna take this end of my charging cable and I'm gonna plug it into my power brick. Okay, then I will take this end right here and I'm gonna plug that into my wall. All right, now notice when I plug that in that a light indicate an indicator light turned on right here on my power brick. That tells me that this piece is working and functioning. It has electricity. It's ready to charge my Chromebook. Okay, now the other end of the Chromebook that or of the charger that's going to go into the Chromebook looks like this. So notice how that looks very different than the HP one. Okay, so we're going to take that end and again we're going to look on the side of the Chromebook and we're going to find the, the piece that has that nice image, again, that looks like a plug going into the wall. Okay, so a little bit hard to see, but it's there. Okay, so I'm gonna take and I'm gonna plug in my charger. So now we have our charger plugged in. We also have this light that turned on that tells us now the Chromebook is charging. Notice underneath there, we have a little picture that looks like a little battery, okay, which is super helpful because that is how we know, yes, our battery is charging. And then next to it, the other thing I wanna point out, this is our power button for this Chromebook, okay? So on Dell Chromebooks, notice you've got that circle with a line through it picture again, and here is our button. Okay, so I'm gonna open this Chromebook so that we can get started for our day. All right, and notice that the Chromebook automatically turned on. Both the HP and the Dell may do that where they'll just turn on for you and you don't have to press a power button. If it doesn't happen though, you know where the power button is here on the side. Just press and hold it until the Chromebook screen turns on. When the student is done learning with the day, again, you can just close the lid, but remember if you do that, the battery will continue to drain or you can turn it off by pressing and holding the power button, like so. And there goes my screen. All right, so that is it for HP and Dell Chromebooks. What we did in this video is we walked through how to connect our cables, how to plug in the Chromebooks, why it's important to make sure that they're charged, and how to turn them on and off.